Hi mga kabibis! Good morning mga kabibis! Hi mga kabibis! Good day mga kabibis! Hi mga kabibis! Hi mga kabibis! Welcome to another episode of Big Otilio Vlogger! Ayan! For today's video, since it's summer na, ang init-init, sobrang nakakahapo, sobrang nakakauhaw, sobrang dry ang season, sometimes very very humid, okay, pero ang bottom line is napakainit, I want to give you some tips on how you should take care of your pet cats. Okay, pwede na pet dogs, okay, but I'm more of a cat lover so I have a lot of cats here at home. So I'm going to give, you know, people out there na may mga pet cats at home, some tips on how you should really care for your pet cats ngayong summer. You know naman na kapag summer, very very common dyan yung mga diseases like, uh, well, isa dyan is skin disease, di ba? Maraming mga cracked skin, may mga uh, sometimes eczema or mga uh, galis, okay? Ticks, they're actually a very common thing during summer. Uh, heat stroke is also a very common thing among our pet animals because you have to understand that our pet animals kind of react the same way as humans do when it comes to heat. Okay, pag sobrang init ng panahon, ganun din naman sila nag-react. Mas mainit pa nga sa kanila because ang kapal-kapal ng fur nila. You can just imagine kung ikaw nasa initan ka, di ba? Nasa gitna ka ng uh, mainit na mainit na panahon and naka-fur coat ka, ano kayo mangyayari sa'yo, di ba? Ganun din yung nararamdaman nila because of their thick fur. And sa akin, mga cats ko, uh, may mga puspin ako. So medyo light ang fur nila, hindi ganun kakapat. But I have Persian cats. I have Permese. Ang kitawag nilang Permese is really a crossbreed between uh, Persian and Siamese. And makakapal din ang fur nila. Okay, so yun. I think it's very important that we should know how to care for them at this time, especially na sobrang init ang panahon. Ayan, so, for the first tip for today's video, by the way, this is Bullet. Ayan, my black Persian Siamese cat. Okay? Mm, mabait to, mabait to si... Mag-hi ka nga. Hi ka, hi ka, hi ka baby. Hi! Hi po. Mahihain siya. Tsaka maitim siya, oh. <laughs> negro, negro. Negro tong pusang to. But anyway, I love my cat so much. Um, they're so sweet, talaga. They're so sweet. Anyway, so, yung first tip ko nga is use sun cream or mga healing balm for your pet cats during summer. If you notice that, you know, their noses are becoming more dry, tapos yung mga tips of uh, the ears, pati yung mga paws nila, normally nagda-dry yan sobrang init. You have to apply sun cream or healing balm Okay, para at least ma-soothe yung uh, pagka-dry ng mga areas or parts of uh, your cat's body. Medyo sabihin nyo OA, okay, because it's only people that get to use these products, pero no. I've researched sa Shopee and merong isang product dyan, uh, Snout Soother ang tawag. Um, I can show you what it looks like. Ayan siya. Okay? So, ayan siya. Um, you can check it out on Shopee kasi naghahanap din ako uh, for my cats. And walang masyadong ganong products talaga. I think it's very common in the US or uh, in China. Ah, kasi China yung product na yan. Pero here in the Philippines, parang walang masyadong. You can masyado. always check with your vet kung anong available na sun cream or kung ano yung dapat na sun cream or mga bombs okay, for your cats. Kasi nabasa ko, dapat daw titanium dioxide based hindi siya po pwedeng zinc oxide based kasi daw baka daw makasama sa um, pusa. Okay? So, I don't know the difference between the two at kung anong effect ng zinc oxide based products pero you can always check with your vet. Okay? Mmm! Oh, babay na daw. <laughs> okay! Tip number two. And I'm with Atlas right now. Atlas, say hi! Ito yung stariray kong pusa. Si Atlas. He is a triple coat Persian cat. Kaya ang kapal kapal ng balahibo niya parang cotton. So medyo mas ingat ako sa kanya. Okay? Um, kasi nga mainit yung din to. Okay? So, mm, 
Ayan. So, bigyan natin silang tip number two. Ano yung tip number two natin? Tip number two. Pala. Okay. Ang dal-dal ko kasi. Tip number two. Provide plenty of shade for your pet cats. Especially that, alam ko, not all owners keep their cats at home or inside the house. Diba? So, sometimes nasa labas, nasa kulungan. So, if ever nasa kulungan man sila o nasa labas sila, make sure that there's plenty of shade. Kasi kapag nahita sila, especially if they're placed directly under the sun or uh, basta yung mainit na lugar na walang masyadong ventilation din, um, yun, medyo delikado sa kanila yun because of uh, heat exhaustion. Pwede silang magkaroon ng heat stroke. Alright? Parang tao rin yan. Pag kinulong nyo sa mainit na lugar, you know, for how many hours, ikamamatay na yun. Yun. So, mahihirapan sila bumina. So, ganoon din naman sa pusa. So, please, ang request ko lang sa mga pet owners, especially those na, syempre, mag- maliit yung lugar nila sa loob, ang doon family nila. Sometimes, the kids also are asthmatic and uh, they cannot live with the cats. Pero since may pet cats, so, ang option is to place them outside the house. Make sure that there's shade. Okay? It's very, very important talaga. Hindi porket mga animals sila is parang ganun na lang na akala natin okay na sila sa kulungan. Especially kung yung kulungan is made of galvanized iron, ay ang init nun, di ba? Para ka nasa loob ng oven, alright? Tustado ang mga pusa. Okay? So, yeah. So, we have to be careful. We need to take care of them. We have to treat them just as we would treat ourselves or our family members or our kids. Ako kasi, mm, parang anak ko na itong mga pusa kung ito. Okay? So again, plenty of shade. Make sure that they are even placed directly under sunlight. Ayan. Tip number three with Pleoni this time. Ito si Pleoni. Actually, bunti si Pleoni. So I'm also being very careful kapag pinubuhat ko siya kasi malaki na yung siya niya. Mga nanak na siya siguro. Malapit na. Yung si Pleoni. So Pleoni is also a Persian cat. Um, asawa siya ni Atlas. Okay, kaya Pleoni rin pangalan niya kasi in Greek mythology, Atlas is married to Pleoni. Okay? Yeah, so may explanation pa kung bakit ganyan yung mga pangalan nila. Anyway, tip number three, keep your cats hydrated. It's very important na may presence ng water. Okay? Kung saan man sila naroon. Okay? They have to drink water um, more than usual kasi sobrang init so you have to make sure that there's uh, plenty of water around okay kung meron naman kayong pera at medyo nakakaluwag you can buy the water fountain para mas ma-attract sila na uminom ng tubig kasi I use that and yan yan siya yan yan yung water fountain na ginagamit ko gusto gusto nila yan palagi silang umiinom dyan kasi nga um, nakakatuwa siguro dahil nga gumagalaw yung tubig gumag tumutulo so, alam mo naman mga pusa, di ba? They're very curious. If something moves, that easily draws attention from them. Okay? So, yan. Keep them hydrated. Kung lalaroin nyo man sila, make them play with ice cubes. Nagawa ko na rin yan. Magandang uh, they play with ice cubes kasi syempre malamig, tapos water din siya. Pero yun nga lang, may mga cats na hindi gustong play ng ice cubes. Pero may mga pusa rin naman na gustong gusto. So, tinan nyo lang kung ano yung pwede sa cat. Okay? Kung gusto nila ng batsa ng tubig, which is very rare, pero may pusa rin ako dati, nagkaroon ako ng pusa, pero unfortunately, um, namatay na siya. Before pa, kung gusto niya rin na nasa batsa siya ng tubig, may mga ganyan pusa eh. So it's not true at all na takot ang pusa sa tubig. Okay? That's a myth. Okay? Mababay na daw. Gusto gusto niya umalis. Babay, play on eh! Bye-bye! Bye-bye daw, bye-bye! Bye-bye! <laughs> Ayan, tip number four, and this time with Stratus. Hello, Stratus. Ito yung Puspin ko. Uh, buntis din siya. So, halos magkasabay siya ni Pleone. So, Puspin naman to, anak to ni Cloud. Unfortunately, si Cloud nagkaroon ng sakit. So, hindi siya nakasurvive. Ito na lang yung surviving child ni Stratus na buntis ngayon. Ayan, anyway. So, Puspin naman to. Very sweet din naman to, pero hindi na masyarong gusto mong kabuhay. Stratus. So, ang tawag ko sa kanya, Tatut. Okay, yung nickname niya si pangalan niya Stratus. Tatot! Mm-hmm. Yeah. So anyway, uh, for our tip number four, keep your um, 
home, the inside area ng home, cool as well. Okay, that's very, very important. Especially kung aalis kayo na bahay, iwan niyo yung mga pusa sa loob ng bahay. Um, at kung walang enough ventilation, hindi nyo naman pwedeng buksan yung bintana kasi baka, baka lumabas sila. Uh, lalo na kung wala kang screen, di ba? Yung mga uh, glass uh, windows na walang screen or yung mga uh, sliding windows na wala rin screen. So, hindi nyo mga, or grill, um, hindi nyo mga pwedeng buksan, di ba? Uh, so, make sure na you keep a fan open sa bahay kapag aalis kayo para at least medyo cool yung loob ng bahay at hindi siya parang pugon. Okay? Most especially when you have a lot of cats and you leave them at home. Kung marami kayong pera, kung mayaman yaman kayo, then you can leave your AC on while you're away from home at diba, nasa loob siya ng bahay. Uh, some cat owners do that. Ngayon, kung wala naman, kung sa sala lang or sa isang area ng bahay na wala namang AC, basta make sure you have enough ventilation. Like, uh, siguro kung may mga vents kayo or whatever, mga uh, high level na mga hintana, yung buksan nyo, huwag yung isasara. Basta the whole idea is make sure your house is cool if you're planning to leave them behind. Okay? Mahalaga yan. Kasi pwedeng mag-cause ng heat exhaustion or heat stroke sa mga pusa pag sobrang init ang isang area. Okay? Especially pag marami sila doon. Next tip with dusk or dusky. Ayan. Hi dusky! Say hello to my viewers. Oh. <laughs> so si dusky Siamese siya. Half Siamese, half British short hair. Okay, nabili ko siya. Um, and... She's about two years old na, okay? Kapapanganak niya lang, ang kukit mga anak niya actually. Um, pero unfortunately, some uh, uh, kittens died, okay? Kasi may mga sobrang liliit ng pagkapanganak niya. Okay, so next tip natin. Tuski naman. Nihihiya ka ba sa camera? Tuski? Ah, nihihiya lang, tatanggalin ko na nga siya. Tuski, tuski. Ano siya ka na? Yan. Medyo hindi rin, ano yan eh, fan of... Uh, uh, being carried. Ayaw nyo nang binubuhat siya. Anyway, so ang next tip natin is don't over-excite your cats. Kasi unang-una, mainit na nga, tapos kung lalaruin nyo sila, okay, mag-exert sila ng effort, okay, mapapagod sila, mahapo sila, and kapag mainit, um, that could lead to trouble. Okay, so you have to understand na kahit naman sa mga tao, di ba, kung halimbawa, mainit na nga, tapos tatakotakbo ka pa, okay, uh, mag exercise ka, okay, sa gitna ng init, uh, hindi maganda idea yon, okay? <laughs> gusto mong mamatay, yon, yun ang gawin. <laughs> Alright, so for cats, pwede nyo silang laruin, pero mild, and siguro at a particular time of the day, like for example, maghapon or gabi na, na hindi masyadong mainit, or let's say, naka, um, bukas naman yung AC nyo, yon, pwede nyo siguro silang laruin, kasi, uh, malamig naman yung environment. Remember that during summer, uh, medyo minimal lang tayo sa uh, playing with them and uh, making them exert effort. Kasi katulad ako, usual na sa akin yung nilalaro ko sila. So, tumatakbo sila, tapos I have a feather, yun yung ginagamit kong panglaro sa kanila, tatalon sila, um, na-excite sila. So, there was one time, and nakita ko, yung pusa ko nagpa-pant. Yung pant is yung nakalabas yung dila, pas, <laughs> ganon. Parang pangit. <laughs> so yun, uh, nagpa-pant sila. So sabi ko, bakit ganon? Yung pala, napapagod din sila. And nahapo uh, sila. And that uh, is not a very good sign. Okay? Uh, kasi wala naman sila sweat glands. So I think, and I believe, okay, as far as elementary science is concerned, animals don't sweat, but they release heat through panting. Okay, and pag sumosobra na, and nakita nyo mabilis yung paghingan po sa, yun, medyo delikado na yun. So, um, basta, bottom line, huwag nyo nang masyadong laruin ang pusa ninyo, huwag nyo na silang masyadong ipa-exert ng effort kung napaka-init at kung wala naman din kayong AC. Okay? Yun na. Tip number six with Apache! <laughs> mm, si Apache actually napulot ko lang to sa parking lot. Okay, umiiyak, lumapit sa amin, nagugutom, ayan, hindi na kami nilubayan. So, I took him home, alright? Say, hi, Apache. Ito, medyo hindi rin gusto mapabuhat, hindi masyado. Pero, you know, um, nakakatuwa kasi, you know, 
cats have different attitudes. So, meron silang kanya-kanyang style sa pagiging sweet. Meron din sila kanya-kanyang um, way na gustong pagbuhat sa kanila. Mga ganyan. Alright. So, malalaman nyo naman yun when you closely interact with your cats. You would know uh, their pet peeves. You would know what they like. May mga pusa akong gusto nagpapakiliti sa chan. Meron mga hindi. Meron ayaw. Mga ganyan. Alright? Um, sige. Apache. Nakakatawa kay Apache. Meron siyang di niyang itim sa ilong. Okay. Yan. Apache. Say, say hello na Apache. Apache. Mm-hmm. Palagi tumatabi sa amin sa kama. Pag matutulog na. Okay. Sweet na sweet yan pag matutulog na. Pero pag hindi. Pag ayaw pa matulog. Hindi siya sweet. Diba? Okay. Anyway. Tip number six nga is. Know the signs for heat stroke. Okay. Um. Dapat nyo nang malaman kung halimbawa uh, may early warning signs na ang cats nyo na nag-experience na ng uh, heat exhaustion or yung sobrang init na they cannot take anymore. Ang number number one dyan is agitation. When they feel agitated, like hindi sila mapakali, you know, they keep pacing about uh, na parang buntis na mga nganak, ganun. Pero hindi naman sila buntis, syempre. Especially if it's a male cat, di ba? So, if they're agitated, uh, ayaw magpabuhat, ayaw magpahawak, tapos they keep, as I've said, they keep moving about, yun, that could be one sign of it. And, you know, if you check the environment, it's really hot, tapos ganun na sila mag-react, then maybe it's time that you do something about it. The second, uh, the second sign, Okay, that your cat may be experiencing heat stroke is stretching out and breathing rapidly. Like yung like stretch lang ganun tapos <laughs> ang bilis bilis pa din. Okay, ganun. Um, actually, for any uh, cats naman, basta meron silang nararamdaman or kung meron silang sakit and they sort of breathe rapidly, there really is trouble you know, in the cat. Kaya takot ako minsan na pag tinitigan ko na parang nito ko at minsan mabilis yung paghinga nila. Uh, kinakabahan na ako kung baka may na-experience sila o baka may sakit sila or whatever. Basta na parang nito ko pag masyado sila mabilis yung mga kasi. yung normal nilang paghinga. So if you see them stretching out and breathing rapidly, yon. That could be a sign that your cat may be experiencing heat exhaustion. Number three sign is distress kung medyo distressed na ang pusa nyo, medyo umiiyak at kakaiba yung iyak niya, okay, you also have to attend to that. Baka kailangan nyo ng dalhin sa vet, baka kailangan nyo ng bigyan ng first aid, okay, especially if sobrang init niya. Number four sign that your cat may be experiencing heat stroke is yung skin nila is sobrang init. Na pag hinawakan nyo para may lagnat, na parang nag-aapoy sa lagnat. Okay, mainit na mainit. So, extreme sign na yan. So, you have to uh, provide first aid na. Okay, later I will tell you kung ano yung mga dapat natin gawin kapag nag-heat stroke yung pusa natin. Okay, mga first aid uh, measures before we proceed to the vet. And, finally, uh, another sign, extreme sign of heat stroke in cats is yung drooling and vomiting. Yung drooling is yung naglalaway. Vomiting is yung susuka. If you see them drooling and vomiting anywhere, okay, without any reason at all, okay, hindi naman siya sa food, or hindi naman siya sa tubig, whatever, basta nang susuka and all that, and naglaalawa, and you think it's because of the heat sa bahay, or sa area where your cat is, then most likely heat exhaustion na yun. So you really have to be very quick in applying first aid measures. Okay, now what do we do if our pet cats are experiencing heat exhaustion or heat stroke? Number one, take your cat away from that very, very hot environment. Right away. That's very, very important to remember. Take them out and go somewhere cool. Go somewhere na malamig, okay? Para at least bumaba yung temperature ng cat. By the way, ang temperature ng cats normally is dapat 39 degrees Celsius lang, sabi sa akin ng pet ko. Okay? 39 sa tao, may lagnat na yan. Pero sa kanila, normal lang yan. Okay? Because uh, they're cats. But, if uh, if it goes beyond 39 degrees, 40, 41, 42, yan. Medyo super, super delikado na talaga sa kanila yan. Okay? Kaya kung meron kayong 
uh, thermometer. Okay, once you see that your cat is uh, or could be experiencing heat exhaustion, take them out of that environment. Tapos do a rectal temp check. You know, using your thermometer for your cats. Para ma check rin kung uh, mainit na mainit nga talaga yung temperature nila. Second first aid measure: spray water dun sa fur nila. Okay, cool water. Okay. Hindi pa bango ha, hindi yung cool water na pa bango. Spray yung medyo malamig na water. Okay, hindi, hindi malamig na malamig kasi makakasama din naman yata yun. Pero just cool water, spray it sa fur nila. Okay, to hasten the cooling process. Okay, especially that uh, kung mataas na mataas na yung temperature sa body. Tapos kung ihiga nyo sila, make sure na wet din yung basahan or yung cloth na paghihigaan nila para cool. Okay, again, our objective is to cool the temperature nga. So, as much as possible, dapat we do everything to cool them up really quick para hindi sila mamatay. Okay, nakakatakot din kasi talagang heat stroke. Again, ay, humarang si ano, humarang ang baby Cleone ko. Again, do not use ice cold water. Nakakasama talaga pala siya. Okay, um, it would only worsen the problem. So do not uh, apply ice or ice cold water sa isang pusang nakaka-experience ng heat stroke. Ginagawa nyo siyang dalawa. Ayan. Okay, so tamang cool water lang. Siguro tap water or, you know, basta yung hindi mainit na tubig. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, and hindi rin ganun kalamig. Hindi yung galing sa refrigerator. Then, since heat stroke is an emergency situation, after you've done uh, those first aid measures, make sure you bring your cat to the vet. Okay, so that the vet can check and uh, the vet can uh, do something about the situation. If we truly want our cats to live and um, survive, you know, this uh, kind of uh, emergency. All right? Ako, I cannot imagine, you know, if my cats... Uh, experience that, baka mataranta ako. But then again, of course, another tip for you, uh, mga co-fur parents ko, um, you have to maintain composure. Huwag kayo matataranta, okay? Kung di nyo alam ang gagawin nyo, huwag nyo gagawin basta-basta just because you were told to. Research as well, okay? It's very important that you research on something before you do uh, before you do it so that uh, hindi mag-worsen or mag-exacerbate yung situation ng cats. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope I was able to help my fellow uh, fur parents. Okay, and um, I just would like everyone to be ready, you know, for any eventuality uh, this time na summer at sobrang taas ng temperature natin ngayon. Di ba naging heat index tayo ng 52 or 53 degrees Celsius? My God! Ang init nun. And I've experienced that when I was in Batangas, like, yeah, ang init sobra. Okay, and I was worried about my cats kasi iniwan namin dito sa loob ng bahay. Pero of course, we turned on the fan naman. Okay, and you know, there was some form of ventilation. So, yun. okay naman sila when we came back. Alright? Now, if you like my vlog today, please, please guys, click like and subscribe and push on the notification bell para update kayo sa aking mga ganap. I plan to do more videos about cats, about my pet cats, and probably I can also feature my pet dogs kasi my pet dogs din naman ako for uh, my uh, pet lover uh, viewers. Okay? I plan to do this uh, more often or more regularly. So, you have to stay tuned. Okay? Ay, may pahawag pa pala akong tip. Sorry. <coughs> With... Crescent naman this time. Crescent! Si Crescent kapapanganak lang din. So, I have a lot of female cats. Tatlo lang yung lalaki ko. Out of eight cats. Tapos yung isa medyo maliit pa. Si Noof. Okay? Uh, hindi ko siya mapifeature ngayon sa video na to. Kasi naglalaro sa labas. Anyway, ayun. Um, this is Crescent. Napulot siya ng best friend ko. And my best friend came over and gave her to me. She's a torty pospin. Okay? Yan yung color niya. Black and yellow lang. Okay, pero ang kukit yung mga anak niya. Ayan. So, very, very sweet naman. Baby! Oh, nagagalit. Baby, nagagalit. Oh, nagagalit. Ganyan lang. Nagmamiyaw-miyaw lang siya na ganyan. Pero, tingin niya ako. 
at takiin. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, so next tip is you also have to regularly bathe your cats. Hindi naman every day, ah. Uh, cats uh, are not supposed to be bathed talaga. Pero just to keep them cool, you can bathe them. And lahat sila naliligo sila. I think every two weeks or three weeks, pinapaliguan namin yung pusa. And lukewarm water or yung tap water na lagyan mo ng konting mainit para hindi naman malamig na malamig. At kung paliliguan nyo sila ng malamig na tubig, make sure you do it sa labas under the heat of the sun para hindi siya ganang kalamig. Uh, it has always worked for my cats. Hindi sila takot sa tubig. Um, and it also keeps the ticks, the fleas away, especially for summer. They were very, very common. Bakit ka nagagalit? Nag-vlog lang naman ako. Ayaw niya. Ayaw niya sa camera. Ayaw sa camera ng baby ko. Ayun. Um, kasi nga, very, very common yun. Di ba? Yung mga pulgas and all that. So, make sure that you use a matte de cacao soap or a matte de cacao shampoo that's very, very effective against uh, ticks, fleas, and, you know, other pests. Okay, sa cats. Anyway, so this has been your Bigotini Vlogger saying live life to the fullest. Goodbye!